Welcome to Explain, a series of health education programs published by the Patient Education Institute, the leading provider of interactive health education. This video includes general medical information and does not replace the medical advice of your doctor or healthcare provider. If you have questions pertaining to your medical condition, ask your doctor or healthcare provider. Preventing Lead Poisoning Introduction Lead is a metal that is potentially toxic to humans. Lead poisoning is especially dangerous for children. Lead can build up in a child's nervous system as he or she is growing. High levels of lead in children can cause learning problems and poor performance in school. Most people with lead poisoning have been exposed to small amounts of lead for years. They may not even realize it. In a few cases, lead poisoning happens after a one-time exposure to a large amount of lead. This program explains lead poisoning. It discusses its causes, symptoms, and treatment. The program includes lead poisoning prevention tips, with emphasis on prevention for children. Lead poisoning Lead is a metal that is easy to melt and use in manufacturing. Lead has been used for centuries. Many items contain lead, including makeup, gasoline, paint, wine additives, dishes, and plumbing. Common items from certain countries may contain high levels of lead, such as the glaze on porcelain, ceramics, and fine china, food cans sold outside of the United States, some cosmetics, such as coal. Lead is naturally present in the soil but concentrations of lead may be higher in the soil in certain areas as a result of gasoline or paint. High concentrations of lead in soil may be found around major highways, some homes, and in some urban neighborhoods. If eaten or inhaled into the body, lead competes with calcium. Calcium is a mineral that is needed to keep the body healthy and allow the normal function of our nerve cells. A child's nervous system mostly develops before the child turns five years old. Lead poisoning is especially dangerous to children under six years of age because their brains and nervous systems are still growing. Lead poisoning causes severe learning problems in children. Some scientists have died from working with lead. In certain countries, standards have been created to limit the amount of lead used to make paint, gasoline, toys, and other products. In some places, laws have been made to restrict the use of lead in pipes, solder, and other components used in public water systems. Pipes and fixtures made of lead and brass, as well as pipes soldered with lead, still exist. They can contaminate tap water. The sale of lead-based paint has been banned in some places, but older homes and living spaces may still have lead-based paint on the walls. Small children may chew on the wall and swallow lead, especially if the paint chips. Who is at risk? Children and adults who live in homes that have lead-based paint, pipes, or other fixtures are at risk of lead poisoning. People who live in an area where there are a lot of lead-based products are also at risk. Babies and young children are the most at risk for lead exposure. Babies and young children often put objects in their mouths. They may chew old toys that contain lead particles and dust. Lead poisoning is more dangerous for fetuses, babies, and children than for adults because lead is more easily absorbed into their growing bodies. A child's nervous system is also more sensitive to lead's damaging effects. Breathing in lead dust is possible while remodeling a home, working at certain jobs, doing hobbies such as making stained glass or refinishing furniture. If you're pregnant, take extra precautions to avoid exposure to lead. Lead can harm your developing baby. You may want to have a lead inspection or a lead risk assessment to check the level of lead in your home. This can help you know how to reduce or control lead exposure. Lead inspections only check for lead in painted surfaces and do not determine whether the paint has dangerous levels of lead. Risk assessments can tell if your home has dangerous lead sources of any kind.
Sponsored by the Patient Education Institute. www.patient-education.com Over 5,000 videos and interactive tutorials. Symptoms and Complications At first, lead poisoning may not cause obvious symptoms. Children who appear healthy may have high levels of lead in their bodies. Lead usually builds up gradually in the body. There are no signs or symptoms until levels become dangerous. The signs and symptoms of lead poisoning in children may include abdominal pain, constipation, irritability, loss of appetite. Other symptoms of lead poisoning in children may include pale skin, tiredness, weight loss, vomiting. Even small amounts of lead can lead to brain damage in children. A high amount of lead can lead to seizures and loss of consciousness. Death is possible but rare. Signs and symptoms of lead poisoning in adults may include abdominal pain, headaches, memory loss, muscle weakness, pain, numbness, or tingling of the arms and legs. Lead poisoning in adults may lead to complications including high blood pressure, digestive problems, nerve disorders, problems with concentration. Other complications of lead poisoning in adults include muscle and joint pain, damage to sperm-producing organs in men, cataracts, miscarriage, premature birth or stillbirth in women who are pregnant. Diagnosis Healthcare providers use a blood test to check for lead poisoning. A potentially unsafe level for kids is 5 micrograms per deciliter or higher, but no amount of lead in the body is safe. Ask your healthcare provider when to have your child tested for lead poisoning. This is especially important if your home contains lead paint, you are exposed to lead at work, you use lead in your hobby. Treatment the primary treatment for lead poisoning is to stop the exposure. The best way to reduce lead levels is to remove the source of lead. For mild lead poisoning, eliminating exposure to lead may be the only treatment needed. Your healthcare provider may recommend chelation therapy in addition to eliminating any lead exposure. In chelation therapy, the medicine binds with the lead and it leaves your body through urine and bowel movements. Prevention for children If you live in or near an area that contains lead, you can help reduce the risk of lead exposure in children by making sure your children wash their hands before eating, after being outside, and before bed, using a wet mop to wash the floors, wiping dusty surfaces with a wet washcloth. Other ways to reduce the risk of lead exposure in children include Preparing meals high in iron, calcium, and vitamin C. A nutritious diet helps prevent lead absorption in children's bodies. Not letting children play near major roadways or bridges. To reduce the risk of lead exposure in children, run cold water for a full minute before you use it, especially if the faucet has not been used for several days. Avoid hot tap water because it may contain higher lead levels than cold water. Prevention for adults If you are remodeling a home that contains lead-based paint, you can reduce the risk of lead exposure by following these guidelines. Wear protective equipment and clothing. Change your clothes, take a shower, and wash your hair before leaving the job. To prevent exposure to lead while remodeling, do not shake out work clothes or wash them with other clothes. Do not try to remove lead paint by sanding it. If you must sand a surface, some types of sandpapers are designed to hold together when wet. To prevent exposure to lead while remodeling, do not use an open flame torch to remove paint. The flame produces lead particles small enough to inhale. Do not use the highest setting on a heat gun. Use caution when painting over old lead paint. Sometimes it is not possible to remove lead paint. If the lead paint doesn't have many chips, you can paint over it. Old lead paint can also be covered with paneling, 
drywall, encapsulation, which is similar to a thick coat of paint. If you like this video, please like and share. For similar videos, subscribe to our channel. Summary Lead is a metal that is easy to melt and use in manufacturing. Lead has been used for centuries. Many products contain lead, including makeup, gasoline, paint, wine additives, dishes, and plumbing. Some houses contain high levels of lead, which are dangerous. You can have a lead inspection or a lead risk assessment done to check the level of lead in your home. A child's nervous system mostly develops before the child turns five years old. Lead poisoning is especially dangerous to children under six years of age because their brains and nervous systems are still growing. Lead poisoning causes severe learning problems in children. Exposure to lead, even at low levels, can cause permanent brain damage in children. The signs and symptoms of lead poisoning in children may include abdominal pain, constipation, irritability, loss of appetite. Other symptoms of lead poisoning in children may include pale skin, tiredness, weight loss, vomiting. Signs and symptoms of lead poisoning in adults may include abdominal pain, headaches, memory loss, muscle weakness, pain, numbness, or tingling of the arms and legs. The primary treatment for lead poisoning is to stop the exposure. The best way to reduce lead levels is to remove the source of lead. Healthcare providers may recommend chelation therapy in addition to eliminating any lead exposure in severe cases. Thank you for using Explain.